Alrighty folks, so uh, we found a solution. It's actually a really simple problem to solve. Uh, so make sure you have your radio plugged in, turned on. We're gonna go back into the APRS menu inside the, the CPS and check this box called position. Uh, so this was unchecked. Now we have had this work in the past, so it's possible this box was just checked automatically, uh, but make sure this box is checked. I've updated the show notes, uh, so everything is in order and working. The procedure is great to follow. Just make sure you also check this position box. So click OK, and we're going to uh, find the radio in the COM port. Perfect, and write this other data to the radio. And we'll see if it works here. Now this radio is still sending out our transmission uh, for the information. So this radio has now been updated. Now sometimes you have to turn it off and back on to get it to work properly. So we may have to do that here real quick. We will find out. There we go, wait for it to boot up. So we are booted up. Let's see if we have to reboot it. We'll wait for this to transmit real quick. Perfect, so we do have to reboot it. It wasn't able to receive that. So just turn it off and back on, and we are in business now. So wait for this to, to reboot and then transmit again. Perfect, just like that. And a few more seconds and this should send out the next transmission. There we go, perfect. So we've had it running for uh, about a minute or two here and it received its first transmission. So check that out. Uh, we have all the information here, the APRS data, the, uh, the location, the coordinates. So how cool is that? Now you can receive APRS location data with your radio. So I hope you liked today's live stream. Had a bit of a hang up, uh, but that happens folks. That's what radio is all about. And it's just problem solving and solutions. So we have the solution here now. Everything is good to go for all of you. Uh, so thanks for tuning in. This is Cody, W3AMG73.